Hi, I'm Pastor Dave. Sometimes I'll read the news or, uh, you know, uh, watch the news or read the news feeds, and I will just be in shock of how much evil is out there. But then I realize that it's not just the evil out there, but the evil in here. Well, what's God's answer to that? God gives us that answer actually through Moses in, in Psalm 90, verse 13 to 14, which is our verse for today. This is what, this is what Moses writes. He says, have, have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. God loves us. Sometimes we'll ask, you know, where is God when evil things are happening in our world? Well, God has an answer to that. His answer is Jesus. In Jesus, God becomes us. He is, he is God from God. He is everlasting. He has no beginning and no end. And yet he chose to be in the womb of the Virgin Mary. He stepped out of eternity into this world filled with suffering to be near us. He saw that we were hurting and he wanted to take it away. That's compassion. And the only way to do it wasn't to try to teach us to be good or to be less evil. No, the problem is our hearts. You could show us the Ten Commandments, but that won't make our hearts less evil. So Jesus died on the cross for our evil. Jesus took away all of our sins. The righteous one died for our unrighteousness. Jesus was judged guilty so that you'd be judged innocent. As hard as it is, as much as it breaks our hearts and God's, God allows us and a world of sinful people to continue to do sinful things until the day he comes again in judgment because he wants you and everyone in this world to hear about his forgiveness and live. That's unfailing love. That means that there is no hell for your secret sins. There is no punishment for our evil because God's answer to evil is forgiveness. And so we pray with Moses, the final two verses of his psalm in Psalm 90. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Amen.